Use the Dark Gem, use your Porygon too. And we're through one of the most threatening fights in the game. Easy clap. And that's Maxi. Good morning. Today should be a bit more chill than the past Flannery split days. We've had some rough fights. I think today we get to chill a little bit. Not too much. Quick box update. We sack Porygon 2 on Tabitha. Purposefully. Um, and then we caught a word here for our troubles. I mean, honestly, we're doing pretty well. I think because we have specifically Arcanine, I think our way past Flannery looks pretty good. So we have the Jagged Pass Gauntlet coming up, which is one, two, three fights, um, which seems pretty harmless, but uh, people have wiped to this. People that I respect have wiped to this. I won't name names because I do respect them. All right. Fight the Magma Grunt if real. I think I'm good, man. <sighs> A nice little chill gauntlet. Before Flannery's gym. With Soft Sand, we always kill this. He can never light screen. Um, because we have a slow kill. Uh, because we don't have any special moves. What? Okay, I guess that info is wrong. Never mind. My bad. No, this is kind of terrible. <laughs> that is horrendous for us. He can't curse right now, because I have slow kill. I didn't take any damage. I could just stay in. I'm never dead to waterfall crit. He can also not curse on Meganium, because I have fast two at KO. He's Shuka Berry, he's not Light Clay. I uh, never I, I just I just thought it didn't work the way it did. I think like Meganium is kind of fine to just chill on this for a little bit. Let's go to Meganium. I mean if I just go for a two-hit KO, avoid the para. It's it's turn three of light screen right now. It'll be turn four. It'll be turn three. It'll be turn four, and then I switch to Senti, and light screen is just gone. This is turn three of light screen. Don't para, ideally. Cool. This is turn four. I just kill. I can lose to like quick claw into full para, but come on. And now this is the last turn of light screen. Completely fine. Should be gear grinder shift gear. Okay. Wise glass flamethrower for the kill. Today I learned about light screen AI. That was a lot with crit have killed. Crit are 1.5x in this game. Everyone can be at full HP here. Don't heal the Heracross burn. This track kind of goes. It's so spooky and weird. I, I, I'm gonna say it. Salazzle's been underwhelming. I just don't have the scales to teach it Encore, so... I think the main thing about Salazzle is it has a really unique typing. Um, it's really hard to find like the combination of resistances that Salazzle has. Um, if it was like a defensive Mon... Or like a... Like a um, 
mid-range mon or whatever you would call it. Um, like Nitto Queen with Salazzle's typing would go crazy. A bruiser? Maybe. Okay, you two would KO with high horsepower. Boosted Revenge does like no damage. You just win this 1v1 CK plus style. Just trading blows. Okay, he goes Megahorn. I guess he doesn't see Boosted Revenge? Not that it matters. Okay, that works. So, I think he can definitely substitute here, which could f*** us. Am I dead to crit? I am. Okay. It's kind of close. Okay. That is not what we wanted to happen, but Salazzle with Poison Barb actually kills after substitute damage, which is really good. So Air Cutter always crits here. This could get really awkward. Citrus. Puts us at 94. We should never be dead. I'm not missing anything, right? Yeah, okay. This Togekiss doesn't actually do a lot of damage. <laughs> I guess Air Cutter just doesn't have any base power. Crit Air Cutter is just regular, like, 90 base power flying type move here, and Nidoqueen Queen has pretty good special defense. Okay. The nice thing about guaranteed crits is you don't have to play around the crit. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, not only is it just a regular 90 base power flying type move that can't crit and doesn't have any bonus effects, it also doesn't have an item to bo or an ability to boost damage because both of those are committed to making it a guaranteed crit. That's kind of why this Togekiss doesn't do a lot of damage, all things considered. Why is Air Cutter a guaranteed crit? Because of Super Luck plus Scope Lens. Encounter right after this. Yeah, we get our um, Hoenn starter egg after this, which is really important for Flannery. I don't know which one I want, to be honest. Okay, Grassy Terrain's gonna be up for the rest of this fight. We gotta heal this guy with Leech Life. The egg is random, man. Sceptile does seem really good, yeah. I kind of want the Blaziken, though, just for the... Just for the culture. This should be Arcanine, either... Flare Blitz or Howl, both of which are fine on the Rhyperior switch. Get fucked. They all get Protect, right? The Hoenn starters? So fun fact, this high horsepower just f***ing kills. <laughs> no damage boost, 117 to 137%. That's without him dropping with close combat. Gera also would have won a KO'd. Okay, man, we haven't got to bring Gyarados into this every time, all right? This should be guaranteed Grass Knot. Because I have slow kills, so we can't Nasty Plot. 
He gets a uh, grassy seed. Oh, did I calc with grassy seed boost if I have slow kill? Oh, I barely don't actually. Wait, but he has fast kill. He can't f***ing set up anyway. What am I talking about? I'm yapping. Okay. can't like Dark Pulse flinch me because he has to go for Burning Jealousy and it's not going to kill me with crit or anything, so... Because Heracross is f***ing busted. Minus one. Alright, and now it's Wigglytuff last, so no boom. Guaranteed Moonblast. We just go Salazzle and one-shot him. Is it bad that I often forget Thievel is Dark-type? He's probably the most- he's literally- he has Thief in his name! Like, the dark type is, like, supposed to be, like, the evil type. If there's one dark type, it's probably Thiebel. Yeah, it's Thief and Evil in its name. If this special attack drops me, I'm still fine. Cool. Straightforward gauntlet. Well, but to answer your question, it's not bad. I don't give a sh** that you forgore that Thievul is dark type. I'm not gonna judge you for that. Who cares? It's a Pokemon. If anything, it's probably good that you don't have infinite Pokemon knowledge. Rare candy in the sauna. Wait, I should pick up the egg first. Because it's actually going to take a while to catch. Uh, to, to hatch. Okay. Okay. And we're going to get... I'm, I'm happy with all of them. I don't give a sh I'll take the chicken, baby! I did want to see it for content. I've never seen chicken used in this game. It's probably the worst for Flannery though, right? Did you only have one fire type? I have three fire types. Now I have four. All right, let me find a historical figure to name this after from the list of nicknames provided over at Patreon. This might be your best chance to subscribe to the Patreon because we also have a new, we have new exclusive content over there in the $5 tier. We just uploaded my director's commentary to my first Jaden reaction and holy I've not rewatched that video in four years and it's bad. I was losing my mind. Hey, you, you guys should, should suggest Colonel Sanders again. That one's really funny. We're gonna call him Dante. After the uh, Italian poet. All right. So this is a protect mon and I think there is like, you kind of don't want to level this at all and just kind of see what different things it does. Let's, let's, let's check. Let's check if it's a guy. Lax nature already having me feeling oh, Jesus dude I get nothing man what is this <sighs> I, I I don't know what to say honestly I don't know what to say about that one Is this a joke to you Dexa? 8.5 IV average Isn't minus spidef so bad for Flannery? I don't even want to think about that man. And when do you get protect? You get detect, not protect. So that would be 44 with combust skin. So you would delay to that level, which means you lose out on sky uppercut. Am I reading that right? But you get close combat at 56 anyway. Detect is at 44. That's fine. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. Or you keep it as Combuskin, yeah. But I mean, you're still baiting a spread move from Charizard at that point, right? Yeah. 
Excel Rock Charizard. Can I even kill it? Bro, it does 70 to 84. Oh, I outspeed. You're right. Wait, that's huge. Okay, well, we can look into it more later. I hope I did the calc right on the Rodom with... It should take two rounds of leftovers. It's one for the... For, um... To my Cantonian boys who had glow-ups. Crobat, Kingdra, Magnism, and Annihilate. Shout out, I guess. Tab over, guys. Alright, so this fight took a while to figure out because of the Choice Scarf Shadow Tag Chandelure in the back. But I think we figured something out. It did cost us a Rock Tomb TM and a move slot on Camera Upt, but that's okay. So we're gonna protect this high jump kick here. This is Libero Cinderace. So he's gonna crash. Then we're going to pivot to Sigilyph. If he crashes again, it's fine because he's um, odd HP. I think also Wideland's high jump kick always hits, right? Okay, so this is Pyro Ball or Gunk Shot. We just go back to Caracosta doing business. Ninety-nine percent to hit. Okay. And now, we protect again. And he goes to 1 HP. And we kill with Aqua Jet. And this should bait a Rotom guaranteed kill with Thunderbolt. So we get a free switch to Camerupt. Who has a hard stone to boost the rock tomb damage. He can either nasty plot or overheat here. He shouldn't be able to nasty plot twice in a row ever. We rock tomb. Okay, he overheats, that's fine. Lower his speed and do enough damage to where um, Arcanine now outspeeds and always kills even after leftovers recovery. Can give Arcanine anything damage boosting or anything else because he needs to wear the Shed Shell for Chandelure coming in. Although it will be Talonflame first, but that's fine because we killed that as well. So this is always Overheater Nasty Plot. We go here. Nope, that works. It means I've taken minimal damage unless he crits. Well, minimal damage would be him Nasty Plotting, but... He gets one more leftovers recovery. We rock slide. We're faster. We always kill. I think this is Talonflame, because I both outspeed me and I outdamage both. But Talonflame luckily does no damage. Acrobatics crit um, comes in at 84 HP worth of damage, and we just always kill with rock slide. Did I go shed shell, by the way? <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay. Pretty sure um, Chandler is going to kill me with a crit. Shadow Ball crit should do 141. Yeah, I'm super dead to it. And now... Oh, this is beautiful. I'm Shadow Tag, but Shed Shell lets me escape. He's always Shadow Balling, and he's Choice Scarf, so he'll be locked in. Where Deer actually gets to get a kill. Look at that. The Hisuian duo, in indeed. Look how long that f***ing took to kill. <laughs> that was like the most damage Wordier can do to anything. It's so cringe, bro. <laughs> Good job, Ordeer. You did 
what any other normal type could have done in this situation. I'm so proud of you. Alright, this fight is also fucking awful. <laughs> Okay, so, we're going to lead with a uh, camera up earth power here. This is going to set up permanent sun. This is going to always kill. And uh, because we, because everything on the enemy team outspeeds us and we out damage everything on the enemy team with camera up. AI is just going to go the first Pokemon that outspeeds here, which is just the first Pokemon in line, which is Octillery. So this is either Fire Blast or Psychic. This has Scope Lens and Sniper. Psychic Crit is going to do a f ton to Alaska here, but we should be accounting for that. Um, after that, Alaska will always bait Psychic. Um, and then we can go Torterra safely, which is Battle Armor, and then just outspeed and kill with Wood Hammer. Okay, no crits. Should always be Psychic, or I guess Thunder Wave. Okay. We're going to outspeed and kill with Wood Hammer. And bait a fast kill from Mag Mortar with Flamethrower. This flamethrower roll is kind of important, because ideally we want it to roll high enough to where Lycanroc is always dead to play rough from Weezing after, so that Weezing cannot possibly explode. This is the only kind of risk in this line right now. So we're going to go immediately into... Hold on, stop. I just almost messed up the line. We're going to go into... because we need chip damage first. So on this guaranteed flamethrower, we're going to go into Hamilton, aka Alaska. Crit is fine. Citrus should bring us out of Solar Beam range, but Solar Beam is completely fine here. We've accounted for it. This is exactly what the, uh, what the issue was initially. Because if this could Solar Beam, because initially we needed Zatu to be full HP, but that's why we just brought Sigilyph and Zatu at the same time. So this is only ever Earthquake, period. I don't even think this can be Solar Beam, yeah. Okay, we outspeed. We do just a little bit of chip damage with U-Turn. It's always Flamethrower here. Roll well, please. Crit is fine. Okay, it actually happened. Okay, let's hope that the description in the run and bun decks that um, Payback does not get boosted on a switch is actually true. <laughs> That's pretty important for Sigilyph's survival here. Um, but this is good, being at this HP is really good, because now Weezing can no longer boom us. We always add speed and kill with Rock Slide here after this chip damage. This should bring in Weezing always. And now, because Payback is apparently not boosted on a switch, which I just learned today, we can go to Sigilyph safely here. Wise Glass's Psychic will always kill him. Even if it did somehow boost, um, we're only dead to some crit rolls. Uh, everything else is completely fine here. He can't explode because he always sees a kill on uh, Lycanroc. Um, so this should just be straight up safe. It's fine. And now with this damage, we're also always dead to Turtonator after. Either to heat crash or to overheat. Which means he can never shell smash on this switch. I 
think. Pretty sure. So we go back to camera up. Overheat can do 51%, but then he just drops a special attack. That's fine. Interesting sound effect for that one. Camera up has magma armor, which is buffed in this game to a ridiculous degree. Uh, it means you can never get crit. It's basically battle armor. Um, and now a soft sand boosted earth power always kills. Alright, don't hold down or I'm in the gauntlet. <laughs> Alright, next. I think it's the gauntlet, huh? It seems doable. It's three trainers with three mons each, but the problem is um, we're about to see some very relaxing Darmanitan calcs. Alright, we're locked into the next three fights. Alright, I feel pretty locked in. This, this first fight's a little bit shaky. There's some fiction that can happen. Alright, this has a Focus Sash. This is going to set up permanent drought for this fight. This has Hypnosis. So we're going to break this Sash with Psychic. That's fine, we have Chesto. Okay, the order, the switch in order heavily depends on what happens this turn. Super depends on how much damage Lycanroc takes here. Full HP, I'm pretty sure, just means Soul Rock. That's fine. Sash is broken. We always outspeed and kill with Rock Slide. Okay, the question is... This should be Soul Rock if I did this calc right, because it outdamages at me... Um, now it's speed both, and Tukanon doesn't have a slow kill on me because it calcs with 3 hit instead of 5 hit despite being skill link. Don't worry about that. Yes, okay. So I'm not dead to any crits. I could just crunch here, and if he hits me, I just kill him the next turn. So I have two plays that win if he doesn't rock polish this turn. It's either that, so it's either doing this or just switching to... No, have, knowing this in retrospect, I shouldn't have gone Metal Code on this because I can just crunch him twice here. Um, I think Rock Polish is really likely, right? Rock Polish should be at plus 7 currently. The best is Excadrill here, because it covers not Rock Polish. Okay. So this is now guaranteed Overheat. He has a Fire Gem. We use up the fire gem and set him to minus two by going into, I think, camera upt. Yeah, because because Arcanine HP m might matter if it is random move, and that covers like rock rock blast with no crits. If I can stay full HP, so I think we pivot through camera upt here, catch this overheat, and then it's rock slide or Zen headbutt, which is the the nice thing about going. Arcanine first on this pivot is that it means it's always Rock Slide on the sw on the switch over to Rhyperior, which is which saves us a whole lot of HP actually. I think I can do this, and that leaves me open for a camera up pivot on a random move. Like, it looks like this HP, like, this this little bit of chip on Arcanine might not matter, but it totally could if it switches into a Rock Blast. So this is Guaranteed Rock Slide. We go here. If I still had Mega Horn, I would style on this guy, but I don't. Do I try to hit a Stone Edge? Rock Slide is very likely to 2 at KO. Stone Edge is a punt here, I think. Okay, we, so, so the goal now is to not get perma flinched by Zen Headbutt. We have a lot of turns to hit, um, to through here. Ok, 
Okay, that's not good. Nice. Roll high. It's a really high roll. I think we're safe to two at KO now. Don't flinch. Nice. Excellent. At this HP, this should be a guaranteed bullet seed. This was the shaky part, I think. Beautiful. Okay. So this next fight is pretty technical. We could just be slower with Excadrill here and one-shot this Rapidash after he will o wisps our Rossberry. We never did a Mystical Fire crit. But we're going to Rapid Spin first to raise our speed. This will make us faster than the Darmanitan in the back and show a kill on it. And because we're now faster, he's no longer going to send a Darmanitan first, but instead Blissey. This is important because we're going to set up the chain kill on Darmanitan on Blissey. So we're going to Rapid Spin here. He Mystical Fires, never did the crit. That's fine. It's accounted for. We're faster, we kill with Iron Head. Show fast kill on Darmanitan. This is Blissey. Psychic Drop is pretty likely um, on the switch to Sigilyph because this is Serene Grace. That's a little bit of an issue. Okay, don't drop, ideally. I think drop is fine. Okay. Now it's only ever Hyper Voice. And we're going to Tailwind. It's one turn of Tailwind. That's one Hyper Voice. Two turns of Tailwind on the switch. And Rhyperior is f***ing him. With Soft Sand, you just kill this Blissey. You just one-tap it. And now it's the last turn of Tailwind, and we're faster than Darmanitan, and we f***ing kill him. It's so easy. Could Gyarados do this? You know, probably. <laughs> Flannery after this. Now there's more trainers. There's like three more trainers after this. All right, break Sash and lower speed using Rock Tomb here. You get faked out once, but that's fine. You cannot get crit on camera because you're Magma Armor, and that's how that ability works in this game. And this is... This is Focus Blaster Grass Knot. Nice. This means that he can definitely Destiny Bond on my switch to Lycanroc, but that should be fine. We kill with Psychic here. Tailwind setup and to get killed by Fire Blast in a Pursuit sounds like a great play there. That's fine. Just dark pulse me once and we're all good. There we go. Never did a crit there. Because I'm plus speed. Oh wait, no, I'm plus speed, sorry. Because I'm a 31 HP IV, 23 speed F. Anyway, we're faster. We outspeed, outspeed and kill with rock slide. And then finally we have Scent Scorch. 
who should fall at the hands of um, of Rhyperior. I'm showing fast kill to this, I'm pretty sure. So I don't think it can coil on the switch, but even if it can, I don't really care. Okay. With Hardstone, this always kills through Charty Berry. God, Rhyperior is just him, man. Can Gyarados do this? Probably not. Because he gets Thunderfanged by this. Although, I guess you Gyarados might just be able to one-tap this and outspeed, huh? <laughs> okay. Dude, Rhyperior is pretty insane. 